Hey, what is up, everybody? Today we're going to talk about Demon Soldiers. That's... Let's see. This button right here. So Demon Soldiers are for your guild versus guild. These guys you will be using to attack the enemy. So let's have a look at these guys. Each one has rarity, just like your heroes. There's Legendary... There's Epic, and as you guessed, there is Rare. And of course, the higher the rarity, the better. Usually. Keep in mind, they each have some type of cost. You can use 100 total energy. At least that's what it was in training. I'm not sure if it will be increased. So each one also has skills or attributes, as your heroes do. Most of them are passives. But there are some, such as this big boy, where it's an actual skill. Let's actually talk about this guy real quick. Demon Captain Maw, you can get pieces from Nightmare uh, 4, Guild Boss, and I'm not sure about Nightmare 3, but you can get pieces for this guy. It takes 30, I want to say? 20. It takes 20 pieces. I only have one. But... You can also get him from the achievement for getting, let's see here. So in battle, if you go here, collecting 50,000 dragon blood in a single run, and that's Nightmare 4, which is a rough thing to do. So he's very powerful if we look at him. He has this ability where he'll immediately kill an enemy in range, which is nuts. Um, I'm not sure how often that happens. His HP is very large. And that's another thing is you'll notice that there's these SS or SSS, the tiers on the attributes. Those will be increased based on which hero you assign or affiliate to them. So you can see here, I put Elowen on him, and he's actually a damage dealer. But, actually, I think the point of this guy, sure he has high attack, but he can also just fly over the enemies, but he is a damage dealer. And you'll notice I put Elowen, and you're thinking, that's weird. Why a healer on this guy? Well, it's just based on BP. So if you look, 116,000 increased which is strange because my Elowen isn't actually my highest BP. It's uh, Zlitu, but she's down here. So that covers that. And then we also have upgrades on each of them. You'll gain pieces. And so I'll show you here, for example, if we upgrade this guy, increased attributes, level three. When it gets to level five, it'll unlock this skill. And that's actually massive increases by two because the more people you send out, the harder it will be for them to defend and the better you'll like end up. So if we have a look at where you can get these guys, you can get them from gear raid actually. There are these demon chests and they will drop a random demon. So this is where I got my legendary soldier. I think I actually got him from gear raid two. Yeah, right here. Uh, and then lastly, you can get them from the guild shot. So if we have a look here, I'm actually going to buy some of these guys because having more and more of these guys would be good. Also, air units. But that about, you know, summarizes most of what the demon soldiers do. There's... The classes as well, you got defenders, you have air units, which air units we don't have in our heroes. There's also horde units. Horde units send out a lot of them. You can see this sends out a quantity of three, whereas a defender sends out a quantity of two. There's also fighters, they'll be stronger in melee. There's healers, so if we send this guy after our tanks, then the tanks will be healed by the healer. There's also, what do they call these guys? Rapid movement. I think that's what they call them. 
But these guys just move quick. They get to that first defender real fast. And they basically just annoy them. And prevent them from blocking more units. And lastly, mages, of course. And marksmen. So, they're sort of like your heroes, but they're mainly used to be sent down the um, down the middle here. And so you want to reach the enemy crystal, that red crystal, and your demons will be spawning out of this. Anyways, guys, I'll be posting some more Guild vs. Guild videos after this one. I'll talk it about, let's see, what do I have written down? Placement overview, suggested teams. You can kind of see mine right now. That's a little uh, sneak peek. There's also kind of what to expect from the guild versus guild, and we're going to go over the ranking rewards and whatnot. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!